We're also featuring Maui businesses as the island is still recovering. Yeah, our Casey Lund takes us up country where businesses say that they've been depending on locals to help them stay afloat these past eight months. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. And one of the big draws for people to come up country from places like Kahului is the fresh produce. And one of the big draws at Kula Country Farms are the fresh picked strawberries. As a matter of fact, that's why one Lahaina resident who lost absolutely everything in the fires keeps coming back here to support. Occasionally when I come up here, I definitely want to stop here for the strawberries. They're definitely fresh. Ryan Nishimura knows the importance of supporting local businesses like Kula Country Farms. His business, a food truck that he and his husband operated out of Lahaina, is all they have left after August 8th. But it's certainly not all they'll remember from that day. People look kind of froze. They didn't want to like move anywhere. But finally somebody actually ran over some telephone poles and trees and it was this fire like burning on both sides. My car was just started to melt too. I was trying to get out of there. I lived right down below the Pioneer Mill. And well that day I was home. I didn't realize it was gonna come down. I left there like a split second. Like, I could see flames coming down. People were just running for their lives, and I could see my neighbor's house burning. I thought I was gonna pretty much be gone. He knows, despite everything, he's lucky to be alive. So we're in um, Lahaina at Island Grocery Depot. Okay. So, uh, so right in the um, industrial area. So, um, yeah, there was a wall right there actually kind of saved our fire, um, our truck because people actually thought the, the grocery kind of burned down, yeah. but they actually didn't. And that food truck that was miraculously spared by the flames may be a lifeline. Kind of felt, you know, when at first, you know, everybody said don't come here, but, you know, I was kind of like uh, in between, but then I was like, we really need the business here. And it's because after the fire, it pretty much was really dead. People were, were really concerned. Everybody was trying to help everybody out. You know, it, it, it always affects. It doesn't make any difference, whatever goes on. But you have to think positive and be positive for everybody. Meredith Seely's family runs Kula Country Farms. Without local customers like Ryan, they'd be in a much different place. And because of that strong Kama'aina support, they're able to give back. We've done a lot, you know, to help out whatever we can. My brothers donated some vegetables and stuff they needed, you know. More likely like strawberries and stuff, but you know. It's a symbiotic relationship, neighbors helping neighbors. That's also alive and well just down the road. I'm sure you noticed at least a, a small drop in business. Yeah, we did, a, Yeah, especially from uh, you know the tourist side. But uh, as far as the locals were so grateful that uh, you know that we still had them come in, their support. Fong's general store off Kula Highway has been in Kevin Kihara's family for generations. This place is rich with history. Local traffic was uh, what really kept us going uh, before COVID and, you know, uh, in general. So even with the loss of tourist traffic, we still had the support of the local people. We try to keep our prices low and, uh, you know, when people come in, they, they're surprised at, you know, how low the prices are. And I guess we... I kind of jokingly tell them that, uh, you know, uh, um, we're not here to make money, but just to uh, talk story. Maui, all of Maui is working to heal, but it will take all of us and our friends from far away. Before, before I had mainland visitors from Canada and all that, they all come back and say hi to me. Thank you. <laughs> to get there. But it came back, you know, we keep open. We try to think positive, like we keep trying, you know, that's all we can do. You know, keep, keep busy. Kula Country Farms says, like many of the other businesses we talked to up country here, that the fires didn't impact them all that much. Of course, they saw a dip in business, but it was really the local community that kept them afloat during the tough times. They mahalo them and echo the message that they're open for visitors and ready to serve. Reporting in Kula, I'm Casey Lund, Hawaii News Now. Wow, thank